All right. Any? Uh... Oh yeah, Samat. I wanted to ask you. Do you remember what you found in uh, the glass stuff uh, chest? Let me look at my character sheet. <laughs> I found something. Yeah. But I don't. Notes. Uh, blah 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 blue. Other. Light. Light. No. That that we don't have anymore. Uh. I don't think so. I don't think I have it in my equipment. Maybe. No. Other possessions. Small stone with a hole in the center. No. Okay. I don't even remember. I don't even remember there was a chest. That's a problem. So it was uh, at the point where you were doing detect magic, you would get two pings. One uh, that you figured out was in the cross, and one in uh, the other room before you even entered like that staff room. And once you guys entered, uh, the magic ping was a healing potion, so you should at least have a, a healing potion. But there was other stuff in the chest, and I don't know if I gave it to you guys. Okay, let me let me check. I got a potion of healing that I get that I got, but uh, I don't was... remember any. any it was other a chest thing. with the. Uh... The, the leather, too, in it. What? It was a chest with the leather in it, right? Uh, Yarno, Black Spider, Note. Yeah, no, the, the leather was on the desk, but uh, that's oh. not what I'm talking about. Never mind then. I got nothing I'm here. I the one chest, but I don't remember the chest. Okay. I'll just put more loot I, and whatever. I just other. noted glass staff, but I don't think I have glass staff in my inventory. That's the character's name. Yeah. <laughs> so probably no. So uh, I would like to um, inspect everything in the hideout. Well, give, I, I'm just going to uh, do the recap. Oh, crap. And, and then you guys can start. Recap that shit, DM. Recap. I did you go. I, I, yeah. Um, that was all the announcement. I just wanted to clear that out. Uh, mm. So, um, so yeah, let's jump into it. So uh, last session, you guys uh, started up, start started off uh, by L. Uh, sorry. Um. So, why is the stream paused? It's not, it's not you should hear the, the music still. Okay. No, when you mini minimize the screen, it pause. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, uh, starting off by helping Gurdon the Dwarf uh, bring some supplies, you guys are now caught in the struggle of Fendalin. Uh, after killing a few red brands, you were forced to tackle the problems uh, at the source. You guys raided uh, their manor, a manor, tricking uh, a beast on multiple occasions and discovering that glass, glass staff true identity. Um, you were able to rescue some prisoner and uh, slaughter what felt like the entire entirety of the lair. Um, you now find yourself. Yeah, we did. <laughs> You now find yourself bloody, beaten, and extenuate in the middle of a room looking straight out of an horror story. Beaten, not guys... that much. I have 21 in point out of 31. Not that much beaten. <laughs> Proceed. What? Sorry. I'm done. What, what do you guys want to do? I want to loot. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, there, there's um, still a room we haven't explored, so... Um, yeah. 
my dice. The room with the monster? Uh, the room where the yeah. bug bears came from. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, uh, there's still one last room before we get to rest a bit. We should we should definitely check it out. <clears throat> not not to get any surprises. I, I'm kind of beaten up here, so I'll I'll just uh. I'll just be watching from over here, and I'm sitting on the corpse. <laughs> All right. So, um, do you want me to unlock the door, or you want to yeah, bash sure. in like? Or, well, or the door in really open. Open. there's there's a bugbear that came out of there, so the door is probably already open, or not locked. I don't think okay, go. he heard all that noise and made like, oh, I'm gonna lock the door behind me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I casually walk out the door. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to open the door. All right. You open the door and uh, peek inside, or? No, I just. So oh, it was closed. closed. So it is closed. Yeah. It's closed. But it's it's uh, locked. I don't think so. It, it's not. It's not locked. You you can open the door uh, if you want. Just open like. Up. <laughs> All right. So you open the door, and inside uh, you, it, it seems like living quarters. So there's some uh, bunk beds, there's like uh, stuff laying around that uh, bugbears and uh, ruffians would use. And you also see um, on the floor, there's an unconscious goblin. Do we recognize oh, wow. a goblin? Uh, you're not in the room. <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> what? I enter the room. I see the unconscious goblin. <laughs> do I recognize the goblin? Uh, you do not. You do not recognize the goblin. Okay. But it's unconscious like... Uh... Sleeping or is that or uh... no? It just uh, it it doesn't seem to be uh, beaten. Like uh, it, it seems um, like any other goblin. Like they they never really are in good shape, but like it's a goblin uh, looking pretty normal. It, it doesn't seem to be uh, unconscious because he's uh, on the, the the brink of death or anything like that. Okay. Oh. Found anything? Well, a yeah, goblin. we have a sleepy goblin in here. Oh, beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we can let this guy here. Can I kick him? I'll gently kick him. Like, <clears throat> yeah, you can. Uh, roll for uh, an arm attack. <laughs> Yeah. Are you going to hurt him? Oh, God damn it. Uh, actions, unarmed attacked. I got uh, 14. Um, that missed me. God damn it. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, so it's it just for unfortunate. Uh, uh, Events. It, it's just like you uh, arrive to kick him, and it just like uh, in his kind of sleep, it just moves uh, slightly out of your way, <laughs> and you just dumbly uh, kick in the in in empty space. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, to... I'll be joining them and say, hey, "What's happening? I don't hear any beating noise." I try, but even in his sleep, he's slippery. Oh, that happened to me when I was a teenager. A lot. What? Being slippery? Nice. In my sleep. I'm going to register the bets. If I Sorry? find something. I'm going to register the bets if I can find something. Of value. You mean uh, you, to investigate? 
Yep. Um, all right. So the goblin right, is he in bad shape or something? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. 18. Um, you don't find anything of value. Like, you, it, it's pretty much like clothes and, um, like the beds. They don't really, there doesn't seem to be any, like, personal items or, uh, uh, anything left behind then they probably have on their own person okay and no, no um for, uh Samat, i they kind of already asked a similar question uh the goblin is not hurt or anything okay it's, it's like just a, asleep it's not asleep uh it's uh, unconscious but not because he's uh got beaten or anything. Uh, since um, trying to kick him doesn't seem to work, I'm just gonna shout, Wake up! Try to put on my makeup. <laughs> Shake up. <laughs> so you just shout or you like, you just, you shake him? Yes. <laughs> Take the glove. <laughs> I shout and no, no, I just shout at him. Never know how he... how a sleepy goblin is gonna react when you you wake him up. So he's no, I'm just gonna while he's screaming. Wake up! Uh, make a performance check. <laughs> really? Twelve. I'm rolling tens tonight. That's good. Um, so yeah, I, you uh, you guys like all being around in the room making uh, a ruckus and uh, a Fern shouting at the goblin like "Wake up! Wake up!" The the you see the goblin start making some uh, some noises and uh, or, uh, his eyes opens. And say, "Ah! Don't eat me! Don't hit me! Please!" Where are the bug? Where are the bugbears? They're all dead. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm, they're, they're... I'm taking my axe and that is shoveled in the the in the head of one of the of the bugbears, and I'm, I'm I move the axe and the bugbear is twitching. Yeah, but you're in the other room. Well, oh, oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll move in the other room and I'll, I'll just <laughs> take my, my axe. <laughs> Don't you have a hammer? I, I'm not sure I, I understand what you're trying. <laughs> you have a hand axe? Okay. So you're just showing uh, the... I'm, I'm not sure I understand what you, you wanted to do. I just wanted to reproduce the Lord of the Rings scene. Uh -huh. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell me, little goblin, why are you still here? Uh, I help. I, I'm part of the band. So we understand I... what he's saying. He's talking common. Um, yeah. Hmm? <laughs> that might be one little detail as the DM one could forget. Well, sadly for you, if you're one of the red brands, you might die. Because everybody else is pretty much in that state. Dead. But group don't want to die. Who? What? What's your name? Group. Group. That is group. G group. Your name is group. So yes, when you say group. you're part of the group, do you include yourself into being a group, or you're part of the whole group, or the group being you? I'm group. I am you, group. I am you could group. say he's a solid, solid, 
Solidary man. <laughs> He's a lonely man. <laughs> that works. You, you, you can have another shot if you want. <laughs> or you leave it at that. <laughs> oh, I leave it at that. <laughs> My. My dwarf is at 8 HP, so I'm gonna beat him up. <laughs> so, the goblin is named Group. We can take the goblin with us, or... Um, what do I you want to do with a goblin? I don't know. You are Who's the guy can can do the... the how do you say that? The interrogation sessions. Yeah, so I, I move in the, the room with them, close the door. I'm just sitting in the bed and just saying, all right, tell us everything you know, you little one group. One doesn't make a group. You have to be more than one to make a group. Well, I, I, I've... It's kind of a pre-legion. I, 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 did you ever hear the sentence, I am legend? He's, he's kind of in the between, right? He, I am a group. I am a group. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Well, uh, I, 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 I know, I know the, 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 the manner. I can, I can help guide you in, in the manor. The manor? You mean the one we just pretty much explored and scavenged all the way? This one here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. here, here. I can, I can help, guide, here. Well, there's one thing left to do. Can you get into that uh, crevice and uh, get us some uh, skeleton buddy? Yeah, 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 there's a there's a beast there. It's it's scary. I'm si I'm sitting up, opening the door, <laughs> taking the beast's head. You mean that when <laughs> you, you just like uh, leave him into the corner, like. Putting his arm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's beast. a gift. It's, it's a gift. You can poke him in the eye as much as you want here. And I throw it at him. He's just like. Ugh. I did tell you everybody was dead. There's not much living thing other than you and us in here. Closing the door uh, again. Getting to the bed again. Hey. Ah. Uh, hey. Ah. Uh. What, what can where? you tell us about Glastaff? He's the leader. Glastaff is the leader. Where we would love he Glastaff. Where would he be? If he's not here, where is he? Uh, he uh, he's away. He's uh, the castle. Mm. Maybe. Which uh, castle? The castle again. The... Um, the, the goblins. The black spiders Go castle. Goblins and goblins. Uh, Kragma. Oh. Kragma castle. Yeah, we gotta go there. Do you know anything, anything about that castle? Um, yeah, he, mm, uh, I, I, I think maybe, uh, 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 direction, maybe, roughly? The, the, the direction roughly to go I, I look at the rest of the group I think he could be of some help actually he basically told us everything right there by the way little one uh, group uh, your group is our group now group so uh, if you want to stay with our group group group, be group is part group. of the group uh, we are group, group has become official group I'm we are I'm the new group. glass staff now. We're new, new boss. You know what I mean? Who, who is glass staff? Leader. Who, who is leader now? The short uh, dwarf. 
<laughs> hey, buddy. You small either. You're in a small one, and I'm trying to get up. Look <laughs> like all beaten up. You motherfucking. And, uh, oh, with press, I cast prestidigitation, and um, <laughs> and and uh, I don't know. Uh, what can I do with that? <laughs> uh, sensory effects is a sure spark. Okay, so um, the eye of the beast will start glowing. Because <laughs> 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 he's afraid right. of it. Isn't he afraid of it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make an intimidation check with a big voice. Uh, that's right, I'm the boss now. And uh, yeah, doing prestigious. You, you make you make the the head uh, say that, or you you're just no. like using the head and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Because he's afraid of the head, and I'm trying to intimidate him. Okay. Do uh, intimidation check. That music is not good for that kind of thing. <laughs> All right. So intimidation check. Someone lost his dice. No, oh, it's far behind. All right. Intimidation. I got a 12. Um, I mean, he's more impressed that by like your, your power than actually intimidated. Um, but yeah. I can also hit you. <laughs> no, group don't want to get hit. No. And at that point, he, he, he faints again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe, no. maybe we should take <laughs> some time just to get some rest. Oh, you I, got, a, I got, you got the, a group? I got inspiration <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, Everything I do is with advantage now. <laughs> <laughs> It's the power of uh, <laughs> hamster. What? It's not a hamster. Yeah, it's a hamster. It's, uh, yeah, it's a hamster. Yeah, it's a dwarf it's a hamster. hamster. It's a dwarf it like hamster. It, it is a dwarf hamster. <laughs> hamster name. Hey. <laughs> Daddy. 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 Oh, maybe we should we, we should take the time that Mr. Goblin group is as fainted again, and maybe take a, a, a little rest. We yeah. should go back. <sighs> I agree for the rest. Mm. We should go back and uh, go to the inn and rest in the inn. Rest in I the mean, inn? No, no. Uh, we're not getting out without the loot. And we have Let's to take. It. It, it, we cannot just go back in the inn with a goblin with us. It's gonna look a bit weird, honestly. So. Hey, we're we're the king of the town now. If we say he's friendly, I mean, is but he we don't know. Do we know if he's really friendly? Or in well, in, uh, in his situation, you see a group of people barging in while you're sleeping. You, of course, you're gonna do. I'm friendly. <laughs> We could attach him, like a little uh, harness or something. Uh, rename him and say he's our new pet. And worst thing, he's gonna bite. Or we can cut off his hands. Oh no! <laughs> Why? Tie him up. Or cut off feet. in hands. <laughs> okay. If we're going to loot, so. Go to uh, to a um, to a room, and I'm going to another, and uh, maybe Kaden go to another, and we're going to check every every room like that. I mean, 
for but doing quickly? Are uh, we sleeping or? Yeah, we're taking a short rest. So short rest you doesn't mean is rest? sleeping means you're you're just sitting down. And now we're and... doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. We're coming up with a plan while we do a short rest. Okay. So we're going to take the short rest right now. All right. So you guys want uh, to settle down in this room uh, and take a short rest? Yep. All right. Uh, so yeah, easy? you guys. Yes. No. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right. So uh, so you guys uh, like it, it's smelly. Like it was the room of uh, bugbears and uh, goblin. So like you kind of try to get comfortable. You're able to uh, spend uh, your how your hour. Um, resting a bit, uh, thinking about uh, what you've done in the past uh, hours or so, and uh, oh, what have I done? <laughs> and complete your short rest uh, without issues. Yay. At Take this point, rest. Our group will have waken up. Oh. Tell me, group, is it waking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. You guys are still still here. Huh? Not a dream. Okay. Huh? Yeah, we're still here. Um. So you're saying you know every secret room, everything there is in the manor. I know. I I I, I guide. Okay. I can guide. Um, so what do we say? We take our guide here and we go room, well, we'll do another like room by room. We go around and we get out some way and we just do every room, loot them all. And maybe one of us that can know if there's anything magic around should probably look. Yeah, yeah I already looked. Uh... The dead guy in the in the in the crevice uh, had some pretty interesting things he was wearing. Yeah, that that's a tricky one. I even I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that, but um... no, it wasn't. No, I'm not sure if I. Know I guess that. I could ask the wife we just saved because that was her husband. If I can take what's on him. Because as I remember, it's not on the dude. It's in a chest. It, wasn't it on the dude? Mr. DM, wasn't it on the, the dead dude? The husband? No, Fern is right. He, when he fall, fell down the crevasse, he found a chest. There was a chest, but there was a dead dude, right? Yeah. There was also a dead dude. Yeah. But the, okay. the magic was not on the dead dude. It was in the chest. It was even oh, all right. So there's uh, two things we need to get up from the crevice. Okay, go. So what, what are you guys doing? You're going all. Everyone is going together uh, to the the crevasse room. Yeah, watching the goblin quite closely. If I can tie up the goblin with me, I will do yeah, that. You can. You can search with, search with me. You're in my new uh, friend now, group. <laughs> I am friends. Leader and group are friends. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so, uh, let's go get the chest what? first. Why are you tying up friend? Because I want to be close to you always. I love you so much. And I'm slapping a bit on the, on the, like, I, I pet, I pet him. I think I'm um, going to change your name. If you're good enough, I'm going to give you a, a pretty name. New name for group? Nut group. Yeah, because, you know, when you get a new life, 
you sometimes get rebaptized. That's calling having a new you, a better you, and a rich you. See? I did it and I got lots of coins. And I show him a copper. Oh. Oh. It's, it's, it's yours that if you're cool? willing to change your name. <laughs> Group is not group. I'm not group. group. Group is copper. Yeah, that works. If you want to be called copper, I would be willing for that. Yes, you can choose your own name, but you got to be good for that. You understand? You got to deserve it. It's called redemption. <laughs> can you repeat redemption? Right. Right there, there, Finn. Good enough. Let's go. So you tiny. I'm just tiny, talking you, with him like this, and uh, when, when they okay. they do their thing. And, <laughs> and you you tying you tie him up like a uh, like a backpack on your on your back, or you you just like how do you tie him up to yourself? That's what you said. Like how, how big is he compared to me? Well, uh, oh, he, he's, sma he's smaller than you. Like, uh, smaller? smaller? Like, smaller enough not... for a backpack, or...? Yeah, that could oh work. Oh my god. <laughs> You're cold <Kowala> now? <laughs> I want to have a goblin backpack. <laughs> and he talks! <laughs> that, that's... Uh, having a goblin pet is the nicest thing in D&D. They were right. <laughs> so you tie him up um, as a backpack. And you guys uh, are walking around. Um, so you guys make your way uh, in the, the crevasse room. Uh, what are you guys doing? Well, maybe I have an idea. To get that chest easily, we could Why? use a rope, tie the smallest of us, and just like rope him down. He grabs the chest, well, uh, we bring him back up. Can she uh, jump, like teleport down? Who? I've seen her do these crazy things. Like, she can teleport. Me? But, uh, uh, she disappears right. like in mists. I I can do an. Sorry, um, no, I forgot your name. Don't worry. Uh, I can do a. It, it was Valhalla or something like that. Valhalla. Yeah. She's like a Valkyrie. Say, I, I can do a misty step, so I don't know if I can use it uh, like an action, a normal action. It's uh, once per short rest or once per long rest. Short. Once per short rest, so I have. Yeah, to so you right. can you can just use it if you want. Um, okay, yeah, but that so would I bring have to her get down, down not get up. the get the chest, and okay, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get down to the the thing, and I'm going to get the chest and and make a misty step for teletransport myself. Right. Um, so yeah, the, the walls of the crevasse are not, uh, like, hard to climb down. Like, there's plenty of, uh, uh, place to grab, and you're able to make your way down without any trouble. Um, so you, you find the chest where, uh, Fern left it, and you're able to use Mr. Step and teleport back up with, uh, the chest and its contents. Okay, I have it. I have it. <laughs> So I'm going oh, to open cool. <laughs> So uh, we need to get the corpse as well. Uh, why do you Sorry. Because I uh, the woman we rescued, she uh that was her husband. I she, think she's gonna want her husband that, back, yeah. Yeah, okay. for Even whatever purpose, I don't I don't kind of I don't mind. Um looks like he's got a lot of boners. I'm going to get down again, and I'm going to get the guy up there, and I'm going to climb the 
the thing. Do you need a rope? It's gonna uh, be a bit easier to come back up. Well, <laughs> I don't have, but if you want to help I'll, I'll me... I'll use one of my rope and I'll just help her out to get right. down and back up. Okay. So, uh, so you, you make your way down without trouble. You tie the, ro the rope around uh, the body and climb back up. Uh, you can make a strength check to row back the uh, the body up. Uh, Fern, if you want to help, you can help. Or row, row, uh, if row, Tamara, course. you're helping I'll, Fern. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll do a guidance on Fern before he gets into anything uh, like that. So you get plus 1d4. So wait, mm. am I pulling him up or Tamara's pulling him up? Whatever you want. You're pull you're pull me pull me up because I don't have a lot of strength for do the task. Okay, so I'm the one pulling him up. Okay. And so I when have... her hand when her hand gets up there, uh, just make sure to step on it so she doesn't fall down anymore. No, she can get back up. I'm just pulling the I, corpse. I see what you did there. I see it too. <laughs> Brian, you, you need to uh, listen to Dun Dungeon of uh, Network. <laughs> At last. Dungeon of what? Come on. Dungeon Network. We say it every time. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's your role? I got the 16 plus strength. Uh, I got 18. And what does guidance do again? Oh, I didn't it's do plus guidance. Plus 1d4. Plus 1d4. We are pulling the body. Two ability oh. checks. I have 19. All right. So, yeah, you, you, you're you able to pull the body, like, without issue. You even, like, it's, it's so easy for you that you have time to, like, just flex your muscle as you're doing it. Looking like, uh camera and the goblin in the eye and yeah you're able to pull the, it's so easy the body it's off. like i'm pulling a corpse <laughs> okay here is your corpse there you go samant <laughs> one fresh one, one, fresh one, one body but... for you to bring back to uh, the lady not so fresh but it's a body let's proceed Two. So, uh, we're going to open the, ch the chest? Yep. Can we open it? Is it locked? Is it locked? Is it trapped? Is it trapped? Oh, well, who's... <laughs> so, is someone checking? Yeah. Uh, we... Does it I... seem hey, to be yeah. locked? Hey, Copper. Copper, you want to have your first redemption mission? I, re I removed the rope, but like st still keep the rope. You, you, your first redemption mission will be to open the chests. There's lots of treasures in it. You just open it, and I'll give you another copper. Uh, I can open chests, yeah. I'll, Go I'll ahead. I opened the chest. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just Please goes be a to... trap. Please be a <laughs> trap. <laughs> And, and this was the he, end he of got, copper. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the chest and open it, and uh, it's not locked, it's not trapped, it just opens. And okay, as soon as, soon as he opens it, like yeah, I'm pulling him back. Okay, thank you. With, <laughs> with the rope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you just see uh, uh, copper that was there. One second, and then there, just saying, pull it, pull back, roll back. Um, I'll give uh, another he... copper to him with a pat on the head. You just yes. got one point of redemption. Good. Uh, what what do I do with points? Uh, you, you, you get lots of points, and then you get... Uh, uh, Upper. privileges, special gifts. Oh, special. 
precious, what? precious. <laughs> you'll be a, you'll be allowed to sleep, not attached by defeat tonight if you get enough points. Uh, How's that? I, I was gonna sleep with my feet attached. No, because I'm sure you're gonna be good, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So keep doing this, and you're having this point enough points to sleep well tonight. Yeah. Goof, goof like sleeping. Well, you can go lie down until we move on. Uh, but it's uh, over there, yeah. in a pile of rocks or something. What's in the chest? What's in the chest? What's in the What's in the box? Uh, so in the chest, no, the, it's the a chest, Pokemon. the treasure chest, yes. the shiny treasure chest, <laughs> not a box. And you right? found nothing. <laughs> it was empty. empty. So in the chest, you find uh, one hundred and sixty silver pieces, one twenty gold pieces. Uh, five mana kit, mana chit, mana shit, mana shit. Malachite? Mana yeah. shit. <laughs> five malachite? So, f malachite, yes. Two okay. portions of healing, a scroll, and a long sword. It was a, a big sword. chest? How do you fit a freaking long sword in is an enchanted so chest? The only Magic. potential magical stuff I could have seen is the long sword. Tiny box. Basically. There's a scroll. There's potions the scroll? of healing too. Oh potions of healing. Oh okay. So anybody note it down? No. Yes, a long sword. Okay. Who noted the, the loot? I have a hundred and sixty oh. silver pieces, a hundred and twenty gold pieces. Five Amalekites, or Malachite, I don't know. Uh, two potions of healing, a scroll, and a long sword. Okay. Okay. Uh, the long sword, is it a normal long sword? It's a special long sword, or it's... Can I, ex uh, can I examine you, the long sword? You can certainly examine the long sword. Uh, make a make an investigation check. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Natural twenty. Oh. Wow. <laughs> um. So, where is that? <clears throat> so, um, it it it's uh. From just looking at it, like it's a very, very well made sword. Um, the only thing that you uh, like kind of glance uh, by looking at it is that uh, there is some, uh, there's a name inscribed on it. Uh, the name is Talon. Uh. And yeah, 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 I mean, there's not much information you can gather by just inspecting it, uh, but you 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 feel like that uh, it's a very very well made sword. Um, actually, I can give it to you guys if you want. What is the name in the sword? Talon. Sorry. What is the name in the sword? Talon. Talon. It's a long yeah. sword, so one hand. Hmm. Yeah, like the a talon, like the, the the part of a paw of a, I guess a griffin has talons, probably. So Kevin, the correct pronunciation is this. Mhm. Mm Malachite. 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 Good. Um, you can make a history check if you want. Yeah, I want to. Ooh. Story? No, no, I'm not a historian at all. So while they are like examining it 18. like this, 
I'm going to be starting, uh, like, uh, Detect Magic as a ritual. So right. it's, uh, it's uh, a ritual is 10 minutes casting, I think. Yep. I'm going to rub my oh, sword yeah. for 10 minutes while you do Detect Magic. Yep. <laughs> I have an 18 in, in the 18. history check. Um. So yeah, you you actually uh, you recall that um, it's a that ta Talon was the uh, the sort of a, a knight named Aldit Tresendor, which is uh, a descendant of Tresender Manor, so the manor you're currently in. So uh, it was the for the sort of. Uh, uh, President owner of this uh, very specific manor. Mm. Um, he was known as the Black Hawk. The Black Hawk. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, in the in the history, it was uh, said that he he died fighting orcs that attacked through a uh, hidden cavern below the manor. Wait, what? Did you say he was defending orc? He was defending the manor from orcs because they wanted to go in hidden caverns below the manor? No, they came from hidden caverns. Okay. Below the manor. Okay. And, uh, and yeah, Talon was lost. Question. Do you relay that information to the party? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's safe to to all the team, everything. So tell me, Tamara, from the history you recall, uh, did uh, Aldith Tresendor no, it's before when when he died? Did he say Black Hawk down? Uh, and he died. I don't really remember that ah. because I don't think uh, the history books I read uh, have that type of information. But I think maybe it's possible. Well, yeah. well, we'll <laughs> say that he did. Okay, good. Okay. Black Hawk down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so. So are you doing anything else, or are you just waiting on Samad finishing his ritual? Uh, well, I guess More by room. the time, yeah. But I mean, he's gonna finish his ritual. Uh, I I have very the soon, question I suppose. for the. I I have the question for the the thing we found uh, near to the to the found. Near the what? You mean the satchel? To the, to the thing, yeah. The satchel. Do I still because have that satchel? Oh, that... yes, I do. You you have satchel. it, right? Yep. The satchel was empty. Okay, I still, I still took empty. it. There's nothing. Okay. I need to go put my kids to bed. I'm sorry. I just keep going. I guess. Don't worry. We're, yeah, we're yeah. We'll loot. We'll loot everything. Go put them down. Like a uh, black hawk. Black hawk down. Yep. Um, um, satchel. But I don't know. Satchel have... doesn't exist. It's a bag. Yeah. It was it was a waterproof uh, satchel, so I don't know waterproof bag or something. I don't know if that if that exists. But finally, we found the person who we we didn't find it, right? No. And what? The person who came out the water. Uh, from from the scene that you uh, like investigated, um, you have a pretty good idea that he he, he left. Okay. Took the content of uh, his chest and uh, the satchel and took the the door that was leading outside the manor. Okay. Mm. So. Maybe the leader was here. Yeah, he was, of course. 
Okay, uh, I'll keep on looting then. All right. Yep. <clears throat> I'll Where? do two, 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 two. Can I say for the purpose of uh, speeding things up? Can I say I'm looting all this floor? Since there's Samad there doing his, his uh, ritual, I just go around and I try to look in every room. Anyone want to um... come with me to look around? I'm going to the second floor and I'm going to check out all the second the second floor. The second floor. There's there's only well it's kind of just one floor, but uh, I'm not sure where but you guys there is, are. There is... Well because no you, you can, you, like you you guys can go to uh, the room where all the bodies are. Uh, it's close by and while okay. Samat is uh, doing his is ritual, doing his thing, okay. and he, he won't be bothered <laughs> if you pick anything. All right. Um. So, um, yeah, you can. Uh, one of you guys, I I don't know whoever is uh, looking. I uh, can probably do investigation check with advantage because everyone is kind of helping. Um, but but bum 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 bum. I don't know. We should actually talk of who's the best of us out out uh, out of character. I have a plus three. Cade in investigation. Wait, it's uh, investigation. It's one. intelligence. Really? Yeah. You got what? Plus one. I have a one. <laughs> <laughs> with advantage because we're all uh, with helping. advantage okay yeah. okay okay i can do it again oh. I have a two. eight eight okay um <laughs> we all roll sorry do we all roll uh no oh, okay I, okay no no, no. Sh wait, roll... wait a minute wait a minute because it's seven uh eight, eight, ten 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 all right so um most of uh most of the the loot that you actually find is actually on the table uh because everyone was playing like a, a game at the table they were betting so like most of their belongings were uh on the table just uh being waged off you find uh, uh 75 copper pieces 55 silver pieces, uh, 22 electri electron pieces, I think, EP. Wow. Well, and, yeah, electron, uh, it's yeah. Not, it, electron. It's not, plat it's not platinum. It's electron is like between gold and silver, I think. If yeah. I look yep. at the... And uh, 15 gold pieces. Yes, Cade? Were you saying something? I was saying that Electrum is between silver and gold. It's five silver yep. pieces. Yeah. And uh, a, a gold earring set with rubies. Wow. A gold earrings. Yeah. You said with rubies? Yeah, so it's a gold earring that uh, is set with a ruby. Okay. Um, you also uh, you also find through the bodies. Um, so one of the bugbear has uh, 32 silver pieces in the in uh pouch and he also have uh, a high eye, eye patch that is uh, made of black leather and also there's uh, semi-precious stones in it so it's a very fancy eye patch wow. and he, and there's also an iron key 
around his neck. I take okay. the key. <laughs> okay. And that's pretty much what you find in the room. Okay. Who's thinking of Fern? Yeah. Fern. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I You're got I got it all. I got it all. Okay. I'll put it in my waterproof satchel. <laughs> Good. Do do you guys want to do the other rooms? Like, uh, go back. Yeah, to, let's um... do. Um, since Samantha is would... like around here, we could do from room to view room, room, like yeah. poop, poop, oh. and poop, and go there until it gets back. On to the next room. Right. Whee! Let's go to the so, wizard uh, laboratory. Although we're doing all that without the no, he did detect magic in here before. Okay, never mind. A roll with advantage. Yep. Or uh, yes. Uh, can you? No, I was uh, gonna say that you guys can decide who uh, roll. Too late. I rolled this time again. <laughs> 14. All right. Um, so going again through the uh, like all the um, uh, regions for uh, alchemic purposes, uh, you found last time I think a bottle of mer mercury. Um, now that like your nerve have cam calmed down and like you're not into uh, a mindset of fighting and all that, you go through them again and you uh, also find, um, I think it is, where was that? Dragon Bile. Bill? Bill? Bile? Bill? Bill? Dragon, Dragon Bill? Bill. Yep. What is that? It's uh, the the thing that is it's... produced by the pancreas. Yeah, it's in the stomach. Oh. Okay. Bile. Okay. Dragon okay. bile. Oh, I think it's bile. bile. Bile or bill? I think it's bile. I don't know. I don't. Anyway. Yep. So you find that. <laughs> You don't okay. find anything else. This one is what? It's um, it's an alchemy room. Yeah, it's um. Uh, so you gathered that Glassstaff is uh, an alchemist in among like maybe his specialty or something. Because you also found some uh, letters and bill uh, around like uh, ordering more um, alchemy like. Alchemy supplies, uh, yeah. Supplies and stuff like that. So you gather that he, he's probably uh, messing with alchemy. Uh, and this is his lab. So most of it is like potion brewings, uh, vials, uh, some other ingredients for, for that. So, yeah. Okay. There is books. Um. No, not not that you can uh, find. It's really more of uh, really the alchemy supply. He probably has his book on him or something. Okay. To the next room. All right. So you guys move to the next room. Um, who, who wants to investigate? Want to keep looking around tomorrow? Okay. Okay. I, I still uh, help her Ooh. looking around. You're okay. not in the room. Uh, 20, 22. <sighs> 22, nice. Um, yeah, somebody's picky. So you, um, you, you pretty much already uh, went through the whole like desk. Uh, with the papers and like I said it's uh, mainly communication with uh, suppliers for alchemy uh, stuff um, but 
you you go back to like the bed and uh, the chest that Samat uh, kind of went through, and you actually find uh, a, a hidden compartment in the chest itself, cool. and inside it there's a silk pouch. Okay. Which seems to contain uh, stones. Seems to contain stones. So I mean, by breakers? pulling it out, you okay, you need to open it too. Okay, what kind of stone? Do you open it? Yeah. So looking inside, um, there's and like I can't pronounce any of the stones. So you have five carnelians, two peri dots, and one pearl. Ooh. Uh, wait, what? Two peridots, one pearl, and the first one is. All of that is for is for Semat. He can do spells Two... and everything. Two car. Carnelians. Carnations. C A R. Carnelians. C A R, N E L I A. N S. Carnelians. Okay. Two oh, carnelians okay. and one pearl. No, five carnelians, two fairy dots, and one pearl. That's what I said. <laughs> one pearl. Okay. That's inside this salt pouch. Goody goody. Okay, we're going On to the next room! <laughs> Wait, have we done those rooms yet? Which one? What? This one. What if, one. If we done this one, if we looted it already, or we didn't take the time to do it properly. I don't... I think you guys investigated it, but I don't remember. Do you, do you have uh, beaver pelts? No. No. You sure? Yes. <laughs> 20. This roll. Nice. Um, so yeah, most of the supplies are like uh, stuff that um, aren't really worth anything, like grains and uh, food of some sort, or like uh, floor, stuff like that. Um, but you you do find 30 beaver pelts. Nice. That's the only thing that would be worth something, but yeah, it's uh, a lot of Beaver pelts to carry around. Um, uh, is pelts? it is it really that heavy? Can I? I don't know if it's that heavy, but it's still dirty. If it's a pelt, pelt. Does it exist a pelt? Eh. In the end, I don't know. Uh, I don't. Andy I don't Andy. seem to find it in equipment. So. You can add it like uh, stuff you have. Yeah, I don't have the weight though. That's just the thing I was looking at. Okay, and we're back to. Well. Oh, wait! Hey guys. <clears throat> Simat is uh, currently busy with himself. So, we could try to go see where we found the skeletons, if there's anything worth in it. You know, because yeah, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't want us to actually disturb the dead, or... So we could go look if there's anything. Okay, go. Come on. <laughs> We're going to the yeah, sure, we can go. Let's go. Alright. So, um... Yeah, yeah. so you investigate inside the sarcophagus 
That well, the whole the room, yes, inside yeah. the sarcophagus. Sarco. Oh. There, there okay. isn't much in the room except the sarcophagus. Mm. Oh. Okay. Let's look inside. Uh, who's doing right. it? Who's doing it? Well, it was my idea, so I'll take the 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 role in this one. Do it. Ugh. With with advantage, <laughs> right? Yeah, with advantage. Yeah. 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 I got eleven. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, that's uh, that's enough. You actually like you. You open the sar sarcophagus, uh, you uh, ravage through like bones and like uh, putrefied clothes and stuff like that. You, there doesn't seem to be anything, but um, toward the end, you find one. Uh, where is it? You find a platinum ring. Platinum. In one of the areas. Yeah. Platinum ring? Yep. Yes. Does it have any uh, inscription or something special? If I put it in fire, is there something that gets written on it? Do you have fire? No, I don't. <laughs> It, it seems featureless right now. Okay. Okay. And, um... Into the next world. Well, he's not back yet, so I guess... Uh, we have the one with the... One? How was it called again? Citern? Cistern? 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 Yep. The one with the cistern? Well, I'm going to do the... Yeah, maybe, yeah, we'll go the other way around. Um, Let's go see in the cistern if we can find anything. So you you guys are making the... the big, uh... the, the longest path to avoid the trap? Yeah. Yeah. And you go back to the bodies? Yes. I don't remember if you guys tried to, uh... uh to loot them or not? The bodies? Yeah. I think I did, but Simat was looking at me, so I didn't take anything. All right. So, uh, without a check, like Cad, you're able, Kate, you're able to uh, just go and uh, like loot what you found last time. I don't remember. Uh, so it was. You're able to find. Where is that? Is that three volumes? Yeah, there's two guys. So, uh, on the first one, you find uh, 16 silver pieces and uh, 7 gold pieces. The other one has 12 silver pieces and 5 gold pieces. And the last one has uh, 15 electron pieces and 1 other garnet. How many garnets? One? One garnet, yes. yeah. Gonna use the restroom while he's coming back. Yep, let's take a pause. Uh, so the the sword is glowing from a magical era aura. Right. Uh, the the scroll is also uh, emanating a magical aura, and uh, and yeah, the healing potion. But right now, that's the only thing apart from um, uh. Actually, are you guys wearing anything magical? Healing potion? Like, you, you would catch... Uh, 
Well, at this point, I think they are too far. So, yeah, no, that's the, pretty the much The healing character. potion, there was one in the chest? Uh, yeah. Two. Uh, no, yeah, there two. were two. Who took him? Or I think still for now... In the chest. Uh, yeah, I think still for now, chest. everything was... Yeah. Everything is still in the chest. Did they say anything before going? Like, we're coming back, or...? Okay. Uh, they, they didn't really say... Well, yeah, I think they said, uh, we're gonna go loot, and you okay. just started concentrating. Okay. So... Can I see the scroll, what it's... What it is? Like, do I need to identify the scroll? I need to identify the magical uh, sword, but crawl. Um, do I recognize it? You, I, I would have to. I, I, I would like to make you uh, do an arcana check. Arcana. So before analyzing the sword, I will. Uh, the scroll, I will guide myself with guidance. Uh, no, I can't because it's concentration, so it would break the. Uh, so I got Arcana, I got nine. Nine? Um, you, you're not sure. Like, it's arcane, like, scribbing on it. Uh, you, like, it's from your background you know it's probably like a scroll of a, a spell of some sort but at this point you're not able to uh decipher it which which spell uh, this scroll is able to uh okay like cast i guess i guess i'll take the, the potions and the swords and the scroll and try to get to them all right um, at, at this point, they're not being like quiet or trying to be stealthy. So, you 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 kind of you're able if uh, if you want to uh, actually make a perception check if you're uh, hearing them or not. Did I see where they went? Uh, they went. Um... They we, went, we went uh, towards the gathering room as first, so we went and south. And if they have something magical on them, I would see like glowing shit. But yes. uh, yeah, I got uh, seven perception. Seven? Yup. Uh, so you don't hear anything uh, right now, but uh, you can walk around. Uh, I don't know where you are, let's say you're about like here or you guys took the the chest um oops but yeah you, you don't hear them right now so uh you can start walking around you guys i don't know uh what you're doing i, I guess uh i'll just see we're we're coming back to the crevice since we're, we're going, done yeah All right, so uh, you guys all gathered uh, at the crevasse. Ah, there you are. And uh, yeah, Any at luck? this point, you you pick you pick up on some magical uh, aura, uh, being the help potion. Most of them are carrying, but you also see them. Yes. Oh, wait, it's What's worth. up, Samat? Do you have anything on the? On the sword? Did you find anything? Uh, the sword and the scroll are magical. Who wanted to take the healing potion? I'm going to take one. One healing potion. Alright, I'll keep the other one then. I already have one, so... I have one too. You can keep the others for... So the sword, uh, who, who can take swords? Who uses swords? I think, uh, Miss, uh, Tem Terda 
dirt. Da, da, da. You uh, you use swords, right? Yeah. Okay. I I and, can and take fern. it. I, I, if, if you want, I can take it for a while, but I'm not going to use it. It's a long sword. Now. Okay, I'll, I'll yeah, keep it sword. until it's identified and we'll see uh, how it goes afterwards. Is that a deal? Yeah, we should know okay. what what kind of long sword it is and who fits best to actually have it. Which will probably be me, but sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't much care about a sword, either. But, 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 but. Unless, uh, it depends on the magical properties, usually. That's how we would do it in, uh, in the Navy. Yeah. Uh, do we get out the same way we came in, or do we try to use, use the new exit? Or entrance we found. The one that probably glass staff got away with. Uh, we can I would try to find the woman. Uh, who, where's the corpse, by the way? I'm still with you. By your side. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm, I'm... Right, it's I forgot, stench. I forgot we had a corpse. Uh, let's, let's bring it back to the woman. See, do you really want to... Take the the guy. The answer oh, the is guy. yes, woman. Uh, okay. So, how are we going to go out with that that filthy body? <laughs> so you're going like to take this, it? and I'm taking the bunny and I'm dragging it. <laughs> okay. On to Fandal and we go. The goblin on your back, or yeah, the goblin, the goblin backpack, or yeah, I'm not moving very fast. It's just uh... I'm going to help you with the body. How are you dragging the body exactly? Uh, just well, the like... goblins on my back, and I'm dragging in like well, this. technically it's still tied to with a rope, no, unless we removed it. It, it would be yeah. Unless you removed it. Which I didn't remove it, so it's still tied. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I got an idea, just... <laughs> I'm gonna go grab some bed sheets. Okay. To yeah. wrap the corpse around the bed sheet. Okay. So Good that thing. you drag it, or you, you just, uh, still, um... Uh, it, if oh, if I can carry it. carry it like on my shoulder or something or hey uh tomorrow you want to help with that yes I'm going to help all right so and I'm, I'm putting the corpse on her shoulders but it's already just uh it's wrapped with up the shit. okay okay perfect and <laughs> might I say very cleanly wrapped up like you don't see any part of the corpse I've been doing this my whole life it's like I've been doing this my whole life. Okay. I'm going to take kinda, the photo. Kind of used to it. Came comes with the job, you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go. Okay. All right. Uh, so you guys make your way back to town? or? Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Um, so as you... What's your destination? You're... You guys are uh, going back to the inn, the, the inn or uh, where where are you guys going? Uh, to the uh, uh, what's the, the place? Mi miners exchange first. Yeah, that's right. To to Yeha. No, yeah. Hell yeah. What was it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that that's where we sent uh, the woman and the child. I I thought you sent them to Silva. No, because we, we say to her, like, if he if she doesn't find Seldar outside, so go find to Helia. Okay. We could check the recordings, but I don't remember. <laughs> I remember it was like that. If, because... Right, we... So, uh, as you're making your way back to town, uh, Samet, you, you, you hear a weird chewing. 
Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you get the sense of the goblin is just chewing at the fruit that is going to, like on your shoulder. <laughs> He's chewing the what? The f the foot of the body that is just like going through your shoulder and next to his. Uh, oh, but I have the no, body. Head. No, the body is on Tamara. Oh, the whole thing. I thought I thought you guys were uh, no, carrying no, 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 it no, no. together. Okay. No, I couldn't. I like. <laughs> I would. So I have very, the body and he have the yeah. the goblin. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so yeah, you <laughs> guys. Yeah, Copper, you hungry? <laughs> Yeah, I'm always hungry. So I, 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 like I get out some uh, some bad apples I took. Well, some kind of ap apples provisions I took from the uh, the place, the cavern, and I give it to him. Right. He uh, he takes it. Uh, he kind of chew on it, but uh, he didn't doesn't he doesn't say anything. Like doesn't seem to be his favorite. <laughs> You get better fooled when your points go up. Points, copper. We're getting into a village, and uh, you you be polite. You don't touch anything. You don't do anything. You will get points for being a good boy. You hear me? Yes. Yeah. Copper. <laughs> Right, Everyone so... in the village is your friend. So we're moving on to Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Which is. Uh... Why yeah. is it? What is it? What? Yeah, right. The music was loud a bit. I think. Yep. So you make your your way in. Um, Alia is uh, by the counter. Uh, the room seems empty. There's no customers. Um, she greets you. Hey, you guys. Um, you're back. You yeah, see... did you see a woman and child? Um, no, I didn't see any woman and child. Well, I mean, I do have customers. I saw women, but not childs. Uh, did you see Seldar? Um, yeah, Seldar came uh, today. We had a chat. Uh, he said that you guys recruited some Redbrand. Um, we talked a he's bit about... He's not Redbrand anymore. R right. Uh, he's redeemed. He... okay. Yeah, uh, we were just... yeah, me and Sildar were just talking about how we are gonna set things up here. Um, I guess this guy that you brought could be uh, helping in our endeavor. Cool. Uh, we brought a little helper. Uh, and I turn another. around. Oh my! What is that? His is name is Cover. Call? He's on the path of the redemption too. Good is Cover. And uh, Alia just look at it. Um, so, what exactly are you gonna do with that thing? Here is your new helper. My, my, I put him down. You you can you you can leave this here. Well, he's copper. He's good, and uh, you give him a uh, one copper a day, and he'll be happy. He's gonna help you, your stuff, I and mean, uh, trading and stuff. He knows. Uh, and I'm getting up to her, and I'm telling her to. Uh, you know, get on my level. <laughs> yes. He knows stuff about the fortress we need to go to, so uh, we need to kill him until we get there. Okay, but 
can't you keep it with you guys? I don't want a goblin in my shop. It's not good business. You're right. Hey, copper. You come in with us. Yeah, copper leader. Yeah, pro leader. Um. So. All right. Anything? <laughs> Should we do um, anything else here or find a uh, cell door? Um, I think the girls with cell you, door. You, you guys look pretty beaten up. Like, have you? I, I know you were going to uh, the manor. How how did it go? Well, the manor's have pretty you, empty I, by now. Uh, the only they, cockroach that was able to leave is Glastaff. Yeah, he escaped. Oh. And he took something with him that seemed important. But then he bailed. Wait, you, you're saying that, like, the, the manor is, like, you, you clear that out? Yeah. Yep. So, wow. It might stink. Uh, that, that's great. So, we, we can recruit more than, like, he, we recruited the, this guy. What is his name again? Um, Peter, I think. Peter, yeah. We can recruit more and, uh, y y maybe build some form of guard, garnishing here in the village. Well, that right? was our part of the deal, right? Uh, yeah, well, that was that was uh, what Sildor was supposed to do. Sildor was supposed to. How can we say that? Um, we clear what's in place now, and Sildor brings some things better afterwards. So the the garrison you're speaking of, that's pretty much what Sildor is supposed to do right now. Yeah, well, I'm helping him in this endeavor but we need manpower we need people to recruit and uh like put on the right path so did well, start uh, making babies <laughs> how many people did you like uh capture or like that we can recruit now capture <laughs> What I mean. Well, I did yeah. ask them to leave some We, we asked nicely, yeah. I think in the fire of the moment, passion at work was uh, a bit intense. I so, think are that right now. This is our only recruit, basic. And I point to Copper. <laughs> you killed everyone? They didn't really give us a choice. Wow. I mean, there okay. was... I'm there, backing down from this conversation. There was <laughs> bugbears in there, so... It was not really this, negotiation. There was really weird stuff there, so... We have to kill everyone. Okay. Yeah. That's... Yeah, that's gonna make that hard for us. Um... To be what? fair, lady, have you tried to fucking redeem the whole gang of bandits? It's a lot of work, and they would have overwhelmed you anyway. Who would have, like, babysit them? We only did it for one guy. It took a lot of effort, and we need to babysit him 24 hours a day. Could you really do that with, like, 10 people? I'm asking you. I mean... I have my ways, but I guess. Oh, you had your ways, right? Oh. I see. <laughs> Talk to Fern over there for that. Have you guys found any any communication, any sort of thing that Glass Stuff is doing, or why they're doing? We found a letter from. Uh... Yard, no? No, Ford Yard. Yard. Yeah, and yeah, I, show him the letter, show her. And I, I give, give, give her the letter. She takes it, start reading it. 
Mm. Do All we right. still have those notes? Yeah, yeah we do. <laughs> that's that's very interesting. Um, there seems to be something bigger brewing here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Great. That's 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 very great. Um, anything else? There was well, a sword. We found a couple of things like uh, malachite. We found a uh, garnet. Couple stone. Yeah. And... How much is malachite worth? Um. Malachite. You're a trader. You should yeah, know. Yeah. I... yeah. Just let me uh, look into. Mm. Oh, by the way, seven. Yeah, the, the... Oh no, okay. go on, uh, kid. You. The uh, the price right now would be around uh, fifteen gold pieces a piece. Nice. Do you buy them? Yeah, of course. Twenty gold pieces each. Um. All right, for you guys. Uh, I'll do that. Awesome. And we talked about some gold for reward. Yes. Clear, uh, if we clear that problem of yours. Yes, of course. Uh, we we did talk about uh, a reward. Um, my idea was to uh, get rid of glass stuff uh, so that we can do something with the band. Um, yeah, glass stuff is probably off to that fortress we're going to anyway. So. Uh... Uh, 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 she hands over uh, a pouch for uh, your trouble. The pouch uh, contains uh, a hundred gold piece. So that's two hundred total, with the malachite. Yep. Hey guys, I think we're getting rich. Might uh, might want to spend it. Right now, I think we need a rest. I mean, uh, I forgot to, to ask you, Sema, do you have any use of uh, peridot, carnelians, or pearls for your magic? No, what are you talking about? Per peridot. Peridots. Peridots. That's a common gem. Yes. Uh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> I don't quite know my components yet. <laughs> no, I don't have material. Wait. A sprinkling of holy water. Okay. <laughs> That's my bless. I can, I can read them of your hands for uh, 15 gold pieces apiece. The Paradox? Yeah. I have yeah. two. I don't need them, per se. I, so far, I only need uh, holy water and uh, uh, silk. Do you want a silk pouch? Well, I, br I would burn it. <laughs> I would burn it in my spells. But... I got a uh, few here, so uh, you can keep the pouch, I think. So, hell yeah! Uh, what about one pearl and five carnelians? Carnelians. Five carnelians? Carnelians? Did you, you guys found all those stuff in the manor? Well, yes. Yep. Apparently it's pretty uh, expensive, if it's a good one. Can I, can I see it? Sure. You can touch my stone as much as you want. Aha! He wants to bang you. <laughs> very, very, very. I'm bad. sorry for my language. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> what I meant is he wants to plow you. <laughs> much, not, much not, better, Samat. Much better, yeah. Not better. Um. <laughs> it, it's not my kind of humor, but um, thank you for uh, the consideration. That's my pleasure. 
Sure, you don't want a goblin. Absolutely. Uh, I lost there. Lost. Uh, so she inspects the pearl. She seems impressed. Um, she offers you a 100 gold piece for it. Sold! And wait. what about what about the carnelian? Wait, wait, hey, 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 <laughs> two hundred. Uh, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> God. Give us your best shot. That that was my best shot. You guys like were a big help for us, and I am giving you the best price that I can. One twenty. Uh, I mean, if you have other, uh, other stones, we can do a bundle. I got well, a little bundle let, of stones of myself. Okay, let, <laughs> let, 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 me, let me tell you what I have. I have five carnelians. I have some precious stone in an eye patch. I, uh, as I say what I have, I show her. Uh, I have those gold earrings with rubies in it and a platinum ring. Although the platinum ring, I might hold on to it. I don't want to sell it yet. Unless it's really high priced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, no, uh, I would keep the platinum ring. Yeah. I think it has some uh, magical properties and it can be easily enchanted at uh, well, some places. You would have known. If I had something magical on me for the platinum ring, but yeah, I but had also the potion of healing. Like too. a component for uh, in enchantments, you know. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. Platinum fetch a good price, though. I, yeah, I don't nah, really... nah. <laughs> Well, we're we're gonna hold we're on to this platinum ring. Where did you? Uh, what did you say? Friend? Keep the ring. Yeah, I'm keeping the ring. Yeah. All right. So you, you show know her. You play your so cards right, what, what you I'm showing. Back to you. <laughs> what I'm showing is the gold earrings with a set of rubies, the 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 stone in the eye patch. Not really the eye patch itself. Uh, I have still five carnelians too. All right. Um. Oh, and a garnet. I forgot I have a garnet. If it's useful, <laughs> including a garnet. a garnet, including the pearl, you're still negotiating the whole thing together. Ah, uh, sure, sure, including the pearl because it's so, not um, sold. She she looks at the uh, eye patch. Uh, she said, "Well, I I can give you the price for the uh, the stones in it, but uh, if you." Find someone that can buy it as is. Maybe you can fetch a higher price. But for the whole thing, uh, it would be. Um, let me count. Um, Two hundred gold pieces. Oh wait, uh, you, you said the garnets also. Right? Yeah. It would be yeah, uh, two hundred and fifteen gold piece for the whole thing, not including the uh, including the the the, the eye patch, but I just included the worth of the stones. So two hundred and fifteen gold for yes. all of it. Yes. It works for me, but I'm not the most... Um, the one it's who negotiates the most. And it's I turn, my... While, while I'm saying that, I turn to Samat and I say... It's my friend, Price. How about potential husband, Price? <laughs> um... That... 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 
that that would definitely be higher, but I don't see any potential. Ooh. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, copper is ugly, uh, but not that with, much. With prestidigitation, I just like shrink his, shrink his clothes down a bit, just to, to show his <laughs> muscles a bit more. <laughs> Especially in the uh, package area. Okay. I mean, you make a Superman maybe, suit out of me. Maybe just buff him up a little bit. <laughs> the physique is uh, interesting. I won't. Uh, I won't lie, but that would stop here. All right, <laughs> two fifteen then. All so right. that makes a total of. She pays up. You guys uh, gather your pieces. She so takes the, the, we the, stones. the stones. We sell the stones. The garnet, the pearls. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Who, uh, hell yeah. Would you know anyone who would be interested in, uh, um, how can I say it? Uh, beaver pelts? Um, it's certainly not me. Uh, I would With try a either. Barton? Yeah, either uh, um, e either the Lion Shield coaster or uh, the Bartons. Right, I forgot about the Lion Shield. I mean, they usually sell like uh, pre-made goods, but. I mean, maybe raw material like that could interest them, but I would, I would give it a try. All right. Okay, so we're going to find Seldor. Um, yeah. Um, hell yeah, we'll we'll come back eventually. Well, we'll we'll probably rest up and we'll talk uh, probably tomorrow. With Sildor, as well. All right, sounds good. Uh, hey, j uh, la last thing, you wouldn't know how to procure uh, magical items or weapons or whatnot, <laughs> right? In, in this town? Well, nah, anyway, it's just a chain of supplies. I know. I, I don't think you're, you're going to be lucky in Tendaline for any magical items. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're rich now, but not nowhere to spend it. We're kind of, uh, you know, moving targets here. I have a lot of stones, precious stones. Yeah, he, he's got lots of balls. Right. All right. Uh, have a good day. <laughs> I mean, I've seen them, you know. You sure? I'm sure you. I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure you have. Wait, when did you see those? <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm moving. I'm making out. <laughs> <laughs> so we have. Uh, we should go see Sildor. We still have so... the lion. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, uh, I'm mixing stuff up. Uh, we still have the beaver pelt left and some other material, but we need to know the, if anyone knows something about the long sword. I mean, I just want to say we're kind of dragging a dead corpse, so yeah, we want we might want to find let's, that. Let's go, Sildor. Let's draw a guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we're so going to the, to the inn, I think. He's in the inn. Did, did you add the two potions of healing? Mm -hmm. I added one of the two. I have one too. Oh, you took one and okay. I guess yeah. Matt took the other one. Um, how many do you have to all, Samad? I had two. Yeah, but I say that I, that I have... Uh, I'm going to take one and Samad take 
the other one. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I'm just saying you, you, because you found one in um, Glass Staff's chest. Yeah. Also. Well, I got two. I got found one somewhere, and I found one in Glass Staff chest. Good. Okay. Uh, work. So you guys. Yeah. Are making your way to the town master to see Seldor, or you're going to the inn? I'm not sure. I'm just. Oh, I'm we're gonna find to... that woman. Uh, she's we technically with Seldor. So yeah. So we found Seldor right. at the town hall, and uh, while we walk, I want to uh, look at the key that I found. If I see anything special about the key, or. Make an investigation check. Uh, investigation, I got 11. Oh, it's, it's a key. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, 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 we found us that one. Okay. Hey, hey kid, uh, don't, don't, don't do think that. Fern is looking at that key quite intensely. He scares me a bit. <laughs> All right. So you guys uh, um, make your way to the town master. You enter. Um, there's still uh, the... What's his name? Is Cade still hiding like his face and everything? I don't know. Are you? No, I'm not. Okay. Because I know you were like hiding be before we went into town. He were like yeah, a bit shady but and most of the red brands are dead and last step is gone. So. Hey, can you are free? Ah. <laughs> I would still like to find last step. All right, so you enter, uh, you, um, you, you see uh, Arbin Wester, the big guy, uh, at, at his desk. He, he greets you guys, uh, hey, and Sodar is at his desk also with Peter. Um, they're looking at a paper talking. Hey, Sodor, where's the woman? Hey, uh... You guys are back? We're back, where's the woman? We're here, we're obviously, but we're back, yeah. Where, we're, where? we rescue one woman and one child, where are they? I don't know. Why, why should Fire! I know? Do you... We lost them. Do you have a name? Mirna. The name what? of the woman would be Mirna. She would have two teenagers with them, with her. Okay, um, I don't really know the town folk, like, all that much. Well, we told her to come to you. you. Guys. She was you... in the hideout of the Red Brands. We got her out. She escaped through the secret entrance, through the woods. And she was supposed Maybe... to come here to see you. Maybe we can ask, uh, Arben. He knows the town, he knows the, the people. Okay. Sure, hey. let's go see Arbrin. Hey, Arbrin, do you know, what's her name? Mirna. Do you know Mirna? You have a last, last name? No, she was be uh, she would be the wife of uh, Carl, which is, well, Carl. Yeah. This guy, <laughs> and I'm showing the body. Yeah, we, we got her husband. Oh. Yeah, it smells, eh? Um, so our Arben, uh, well, yeah, uh, I think it runs about Mer Merna. They, they disappeared, like uh, ten days ago. Uh, I think they they got they they, they got messed up with some red brands. Uh, um, I think they they live not too far away, like on the farm. Maybe they just went home. Sure, you hope so. Okay. Um, 
and Love we know me. where is Jarno. Sorry? We know where is Jarno, I tell to Seldor. Oh, you, you found you found Jarno? Yeah. Well well we well, don't well. find him, but we find this letter and then show the letter. Uh, he takes He's a bad letter. dude, I think. Wasn't he a bad dude? He, he, he reads the, through the letter, and you, you see his face like, like kind of shift from just like a uh, normal expression to being concerned. Oh, wow. That's... I I never expected that. Uh, well. So you you think Ar Yarno was Glastaff? We think so. According to my notes, yes. That's that's crazy. I didn't think Yarno could ever do that. He was a nice guy. Like everyone in our group is trying to better like everyone. That's, that's how spies work usually. I know. Yeah, it's just usually I'm not the one to be fooled, so so a bit Maybe you were just bad at reading people. I mean, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that's that's very nice. Uh, I'm doing my best. Question for but you, uh, for Is uh, is Yarno's last name? Is it Albrecht? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It was. Yarno Albert. Um Well, so what happened to him? Did did you guys kill him, or did you capture him, or he escaped? Yeah, uh, he, uh, he escaped. Oh, oh. so he took something that was uh, kind of important to him and uh, went away. What? What kind? I never of thing? saw him. He never. No, he no. Never... There was this uh, pouch. Or this box, empty box. It it was a waterproof satchel that it was uh, hidden into a cistern. And he just took it and he left. We never saw him. Oh yeah, probably a emergency like getaway package or something like that. Um, I don't know. He, he all like he he would always like keep his staff with him, but. Apart from that, I don't see any items. Wait, wait. So, let me recap a bit. There's this evil guy called Glass Stuff. And you had the friend who always had a staff. Are you telling me that never got into your head that the two might be linked? I mean, many wizards have staff. It's not unusual. In this town? Well, I mean... Yeah. You're building a resistance here and kind of an army kind okay. ish you sure yes. you feel up to it yes <laughs> i'm gonna go play with my goblin <laughs> you you're what Oh, I found you an assistant. Come here, copper. And uh, and another. So you just turn around, or he's down. Uh, I turn around. <laughs> he's always in my backpack. <laughs> he just turn around. Oh, oh, wow. and, uh, and copper is just hey. Nice to meet you. He can, he can be your cell keeper. My, my cell keeper. Yeah, um, you know yeah, you keep your jailer, prisoners yeah. inside. Jailer, yeah. How trustworthy is him? Is it? Well, I keep feeding him and uh, give him points or something, and uh, 
Can you get him when he's bad? And... Can you vouch for him? If How he's long a goblin, have you? If he, if he goes wrong, you just kill him, right? Wouldn't it be just easier to kill him right here on the spot? He's a goblin. You just said it. Why bother? I why don't taking know. A, why taking a risk? I don't know. We're going to I take it out, go. And I okay. put the goblin down, and I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna go think. Think. Um. Uh, 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 I'm getting are into you? the corner and just like. Fixing the goblin there. I don't know what the <laughs> goblin does, but <laughs> he, is he still tied up or he he, he feels unsafe. Not like not, he, like, he just... not like member tied up, but just like he, he can't tied escape. Up. <laughs> yeah, he, he 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 kind of start to getting used to just being out of the attention and on your back and just like protected and now he's in the middle of the room everyone's looking at him he's like uh, uh, the follow leader right follow uh, I guess give it give give copper points many points many points uh, right many points follow right uh, yeah we need him huh yeah he's he's our guy He's going to help us get uh, to that uh, castle. He has information as well. We're going north. Yep. A trip. A road trip. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's why we're keeping him. I I'm not I'm not a good guy. I'm just keeping him because he's our guy. Just like Peter. Just like Peter was. Peter was our guide. To the hideout, while uh, Copper here is our guide to the Kragma Castle. You're That's right. Com you're you're comparing me to a goblin. I'm That's not what comparing you're you to a goblin. I'm comparing the outcome. Fine. Sorry for that. <laughs> All right. So um. Um, what, what, what's, what's your name, uh, town master? Uh, I forgot what it is. Harbin. Uh, oh, Harbin, uh, would you I know anything <laughs> about the Black Hawk or anything about all, all that Thresendor or somebody in town knows about him? Um... Well, I mean, the it, 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 it's part of the family of the Trisander. So that's the family that was living in the manor. They uh, are I dead? Mean, yeah, of course. The manor is in ruins. It's, it was a long time ago. Is there anything left of the... How, how can I say that? Is there anything left of the Tresendor? Like a son or something? No, not not a son. I mean, um... Descendants? Like history books, like anything that could... Okay. That we have any documents about it, or... Hmm... Not that I know of. We don't, like, there's no library or anything or any records that or kept I, I can I can try and look into what's left like we have record records here that's what I'm doing but um yeah nothing comes to mind okay yeah. going to the farm to the farm yeah to search the girl oh yeah right I'm tired with the body here you know <laughs> Fair point. Carrying, carrying the body around. 
Uh, what <laughs> what anybody? Uh, keep lost uh, track of time. What time is it? Um, it's pretty late evening now. Oh God. Evening. Oh. Yeah, you guys left at uh like yeah, at noon. Yeah. To the manor, you cleared the whole thing. You came back. Uh, it's pretty much uh late evening, closing to the night. So uh, we should we should get rid of the body before <laughs> before doing anything else. Basically, we cannot do like ah. Oh, we'll wait until tomorrow. Nah, this. Uh, which way was uh, where's the farm of uh, Carl? Sorry, Carl and uh, Mirna. Harbin. Um. Do I add it on the map? Um, so, uh, from here, um, you, you just state the, the path leading east, and it's, it should be, uh, on your left, on your right. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's a, it's about here, but... Uh, Arbin, Arbin just says, um, well, you can, you, you guys can take Peter and he can show you, he knows his way around town. He knows them. Peter? What? But, but. Once again, Peter, can you lead the way? She knows yeah. Peter? Because maybe she get scared because she was, he was a... A red hat? I don't know. Yeah. It wouldn't make sense that she would leave like that. It would not make sense. I, okay. I can I can show you guys where she lives and yeah. just leave, Let's go. leave you to it. Okay. Onward. So, uh, Peter brings you uh, to a farm and uh, show you uh, it's right there. I hope you find them, but yeah, I'm just gonna go back. Just I knock the door. Like, is someone here? Uh, you do hear, uh, like, sounds inside, like uh, footsteps coming your way, and the doors open, uh, like. Not just a, a small opening, and you see the fat, the face of uh, Myrna. In, hey! in the door. Oh, you made it! You guys made it! You made it! Yeah, we got out. it. You got your husband. You, 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 you fetched him out for for me. Yeah. All that. Well, sure. I, yeah, I for just you. Put it down and i said like uh it's here you want to make a funeral or something if if you know. look for a, a priest or the, a cleric we, we have one yeah yeah you're you're in luck i'm a, I'm a cleric of kalimvor i can perform ceremonies and uh all, all, all that good stuff i i would very much like it yes I can offer counseling. Uh, let's go. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> are, are your kids all right? Yes, yes, we we made it out safely. We came right home, um, and uh, we we can't thank you guys enough right. for what you did. Well, uh, it's our pleasure, I guess. Uh, so, where do we bury him? The cemetery, I guess. Uh, did I ever got to the cemetery? Mm. Uh, no. Right, Do they have go. a cemetery? <laughs> yeah. I would. I think last time I said that there was one here. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every town should have a cemetery. All right. So that's, uh... <laughs> we go into the cemetery. So as you turn back, going making your I way to the cemetery. I don't mind the goblin. His name's Copper, and he's a he's a good boy. And the the two kids are just looking. <laughs> See, the goblin is just. I, I I give a copper to each kid, and I say, "Give it to him. You'll see. He's a good boy." So they take the copper. Uh, do we just toss it, or we have to? No, get you give it to him. Just be gentle. Be gentle. Smile. And he, like you snap it away. So like, <clears throat> copper. Good boy, copper. Good boy. Copper. Be a good boy. I put him on the floor and. Like, while we're working, I guess we're, we're just doing that. All right. Uh, so you guys are merrily all walking together, a bunch of uh, goblins and uh, dead bodies and... Uh, Crying wives and children. Pretty, yes, a pretty multi-crew of people making your way to the cemetery. Uh, late at night, well, not late at night, but uh, late in the beginning of the night. Yes. So you make your way to the cemetery. Um, who's taking? Who's the graveyard keeper? Who's the grave keeper here? Uh, there's nobody at this ha at this time. So the graveyard is like it's not even fence; it's just uh, a field, and there's graves. So it it doesn't to seem to be like kept around or uh, like looked over. It's just a place where people go and uh, mourn them dead, their deads and uh, like bury, bury them. All right, so what but, we like, usually it, do in small towns like this as, is, uh... go ahead, sorry. Because as you walk past, you, you already saw in the past that there's a shrine uh, here. So uh, yeah. There's a shrine, but um, right now in the cemetery itself, there's nothing. Okay. So what we usually do is that we get it over with quickly, put it in the ground. You can do, you can say a little something. I'm still a little, a little prayer. And if you want to organize a ceremony that's a bit bigger, we can do it also afterwards. With the, you know, your friends, villagers, everybody that knew him. I'm starting yeah. to get to dig as well. If All right. I find a shovel somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there is shovels. Uh, okay. If not, dig. I have a crowbar. Diggy, diggy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you're able to find like a, a small shed. There are shovels in it. Uh, you start digging your um, a grave for the body. Body is underground. Uh, children and the wife are gathered around it, uh, talking to each other. So you guys are able to, uh, in not too long since you're all helping, to dig a grave that's a uh, good uh, a good, good depth, and you, you pla place the body in everything. It. Yeah. Anyone want to say anything? <laughs> I, I'm just uh, reciting my prayers as usually, while they cry, say stuff. Ah. No, I can I'm pretty much shoveling quietly. <laughs> I can say a few words if, uh, so I, uh, he was, uh, a husband. Husband. He was, uh, brave. And, uh, I guess uh, we never really got to know him except that he was easy to move around. <laughs> yeah. He was a good man. 
I just put the body in the no, yeah, and we start to. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the kids. The kids are just crying. Uh, same for uh, Myrna. Um, they're listening. They're listening to you, but at the same time, not really. They're doing their own uh, their own mm. things. Um, but yeah, you put the body to to its grave. Yep. And I will do a press meditation just to like uh, bring out a little light, like if it was passing away. Going into the light. Ooh. So I am. I think I can do that. Make a color small mark symbol. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Illusory image that can fit in your hand. So yeah, that's right. A little flame, like if it was a symbolic spirit. Like a lantern that yeah. uh, rays up. Just above right. the ground. All right, and, let's uh, uh, let's get you uh, you guys home. So that lasts for one hour, so it's gonna be still there for one hour. You can still talk to him, and once that light is gone, you go back to your house and uh, keep on living your life. All right, just come, be sure to come back every day, just in case. We saw a couple of skeletons in the manor, and uh, I don't want him to. Uh, oh, okay, just come back a few every few every day. Okay. My God. That's uh, that's one way they, they secure him. Oh, maybe he's gonna turn as a skeleton. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, I can't you. I can't thank you guys uh, enough to for what you did. Um, uh, well, you, you, you might can... need a few husband, and we got uh, we got a bachelor of some sort in our uh, group. Oh, okay. Um... Uh, Add your then, rhythm. Yes. Your own pace. Yes. Uh, talking about own pace, uh, we we will take the, the night to uh, just think about what whatever like transpired here and uh, say goodbye to my husband. Um, of course. But if you want, if if you guys want to drop by tomorrow. Um, we can uh, have, have a chat. I, I would really like to find a way to uh, compensate you guys. We don't have much, but I can't f maybe find something. Uh, just, nah. We're nah. Fine. Just help your own yeah, we're stuff. Fine. I mean, go party. Go party. <laughs> I got Anna gave her five gold. Make a new life. Oh, um, Let's go. Have fun. My. I, it, it's too much. I, I mean, I, I wanted to, to give you well, guys if you, if you want a room at the end, uh, it's going to be paid for. It's, it's uh, gratos, like they said. So, uh, have fun. Go, go and change your ideas a bit. Thank, thank you very much. That, yeah, yeah. Party up. Awesome. All right. <laughs> you see, like, I'm not, I'm really not comfortable in this. Uh, how do you say uh, grieving process? Like I'm, uh, like That's I'm strange. trying my best, but I'm I'm more like you know party and live a good life and stuff. So like once that's done, the corpse is there, ceremony's done. I'm not good with emotional grieving, and I'm not comfortable with that at all. <laughs> all right, I'm. Um... I'm through with Wait. this day. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Let's go let's rest. Go have some sleep. All right. So you guys make your way to the end. To the end. Uh, oh. Might want to drop uh, the goblin in the cage. Which cage? <laughs> <What cell>? cage? <laughs> in the town, town hall, something. There is a cage. There is a jail in the town yeah. hall. So if you want we to. put him in. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna put uh, copper uh, in his uh, room. We're we're gonna get you uh, supper ready for you when you come. Thank you. I am heading I to the hen. Can't trust no goblin. Uh, that's I say that to, like whispering to uh, 
whoever's nearest in the group. Okay. So you, uh, Samad, you make your way to um, the town master. Uh, mm -hmm. When you get when you get there, it's it's uh, the door is locked, and there doesn't seem to be anyone. I'm trying to bash very loud. <laughs> I would have said no so. answers. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so... so while Samad is doing that, you guys are making your way to the inn. Yep. Yes. As you open the door, a it, like it, it's uh, uh, it's like the beginning of the night at this point, but the inn is still uh, pretty active. Uh, Sildar is at a table with Peter. They're enjoying a beer. Um, uh, there's Toblin at uh, the counter, uh, along with his wife and uh, the other bar bartenders. And yeah. Do I know if Sildar is staying at the inn? Um, yes, he is still staying at the inn. Okay. Going back to the inn. <laughs> All right. Um, Toblin, uh, like, wave at you guys. Hey! You're back! Hey, Toblin! Uh, beer and supper, please. You guys look beat up. What happened? Uh, well, we could say we, we took care of the red brands problem, mostly. You you could say that would be not just you could say that would be like word a party or some sort. Well, the thing is, uh, the masterpiece is still at large, though. Oh, we were not able right. to get glass staff, basically. Okay, uh, but you got everyone else. Yep. Yep. Well, that's still worth a celebration. You guys are crazy. Look at you. Come on. Uh, I'll get you some beers. Take it. The best table. Hey, you guys. Like, leave that table for them. You can come at the uh, right at the counter. I'll give you a beer, but leave them some room. Um. So he uh, starts pouring beer as you make your way to uh, a, a table. Yeah, uh, I'm, he not, brings back. Uh, uh, I'm not quite in a, the, that much of a mood for party, so I, I, I go to the table, but I'm not like enjoying it. I'm not. No, I'm not in the mood, basically. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, he still bring uh, beers to you guys. Um, he says, "All right, for food, uh, I got you cover. I'll bring you guys uh, whatever you you want. But do um, you have any preferences, or I just bring you like the best I can?" Um, we're we're probably no. It doesn't mean a normal meal would do. It's fine. And oh, we, right, we're, my... <laughs> I'm speaking for myself then. And uh, we're gonna need a plate probably of meat only. Don't oh, don't ask. Okay. Yeah, I uh, uh, the best meal I got right away. So it's it, is it just you three? Where uh, um, we're gonna be five. Where's the... Okay, five. Five. Okay. Uh, great. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. And this is when we so bring a at, goblin into an inn. At this point, Semet, you, uh, you arrive at the inn. I look like shit. We all do, basically. <laughs> Except maybe Cade, who's I, like... I just, like, untie my... <laughs> the goblin i'm throwing him like a like a backpack at the end of this school day you know <laughs> so 
there's uh you get some glances from people at the inn doing that uh people are uncertain or kind of uh taken back by the scene <laughs> I kind of, I kind of okay. don't it's give okay. a shit. Like suddenly, I'm, a, I'm like this, this uh, <laughs> caring parent who became just, just, just fuck it. <laughs> completely, yeah, completely like letting his kid run around doing everything he wants, and I'm just going for the L, man. <laughs> An L, there he is. Like, uh, I'm going, I'm up. going. If there's no ale available, like right off the bat, I'm going backstage to get some of fucking ale. No, no, we had some. Oh, we had. Yeah, you can you do. Some? Okay. There is plenty on the table, but you can do whatever. Um, like if you I'm, don't, I'm see... gonna take one on the table. Yeah. If you, if you don't see them right away, you can just go directly uh, be, uh, behind mm. counter or um, to the table. I just go sit and just chug some ale. All right, and uh, Copper is just not uh, like he stays exactly where you you put him, and he's like trying to. Uh, he, he kind of gets that um, he's not in a good situation around like all those uh, humans, uh, so uh, he's just trying to look like a backpack at this point. <laughs> Become the backpack. <laughs> Nobody will notice. I, I take I take Cooper I take Cooper and I put it just uh in not in the table just uh on one side of the table and I bring uh, a little bit of uh, food and I put it in a plate and I put it in the floor for him. Like <laughs> right. take it. <laughs> so even though like he he, he don't wants to uh like get attention like. He's just looking at the meat, and he starts like <laughs> eating. That's why I'm uh, serving the, the table for him. <laughs> I know it's the goblin. And he, he goes through like instantly the whole the whole plate. He but actually once like, I chuck down like raised, one ale raised, or two. I'm sorry. He just raised the plate and he's like again. <laughs> Oh, wow. You are saying something, Samir? Uh Once I chuck down an L or two. Is everyone at the table? I think so. Yeah, we are. Mm. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you all for uh, your patience with while I'm living with, you know, my job. I uh, feel I got your support and I appreciate it. I think to say, don't worry. I know you forget the names, and sometimes you are a little strange. But you know, we we understand you. Yeah, you you guys are a good bunch. Except for that kid, he never talks. Gives me the creeps sometimes. <laughs> Want to share yeah. with us a bit uh, your history with this place now that? Uh... <clears throat> No, that um, the threat is gone. Would be a good uh, time. Yeah, I guess I can. But... I guess you can trust us now, right? <laughs> we brought that a fucking goblin with us. So, I I kind of was in the red brain for a bit. And Glastaff was trying to get me killed. Oh, yeah. And that's pretty much why I left Fendalin. Why is that? What'd you do? Well, I don't know. What? He's trying to kill you and you don't know? <laughs> and I, I did nothing. Okay. Well, if you're ready to talk, just, uh, you can talk to us. And if someone would want to kill me, like someone like Klaastaf, and I was a little asshole, 
I wouldn't want, I would want to know why. Least. I just hope we still get got no idea. No. Aren't you curious? Yeah, but we still have to find last eh? I guess. What if we kill him and you never knew? Well, I was I was actually gonna say like take note, Glastaff, don't instant kill him. We have questions, okay? <laughs> we have to remember that if we see him eventually. Okay, yeah. cool. To kill him, well, like I guess that just <laughs> killing him would be enough. But... Okay. So I finished my meal and I'm going to bed. Yeah. All right. Because yeah, same, same for me. All right. So um, you and each I have your still... your room, right? You. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Good. So you guys all. Uh, so where's uh, Samat? Are you bringing the goblin in your room? I don't know. <laughs> there is an empty room. You can let it them. Uh, yeah, I think we, we still have an empty though. room. Yeah. yeah, you can probably lock the room, I suppose. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is um, get into my room uh, with copper and tie him up, like to the you know. At the at the waist level, like tie him up in the corner of a room where he like can't really do much except lie down. Okay. Bring in some paper, or he, <laughs> he can oh, lay down even, in the paper. Not even not not unless he asks. Um, I'm just like. I don't care about this fucking goblin, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? Uh, so, uh, I, I stay with you. If you're a good boy, I'll let you sleep. Just with a little bound, bound, little, uh, little tied up. That's all. You're gonna stay with me. You're a good boy. Otherwise, I kill you. Uh, you. You said no feet. No what? You said not no feet. No feet not tied. If, if uh, I, I get not covered. tied by the feet, right? If you would have been a bad boy, you would either be dead or tied up with your feet unconscious and beaten up. You understand? That's what we did with other ones who were not good. You've been a good boy. Uh, here's another copper, by the way. Uh, you had meat today. There's more coming if you're a good boy. Make a... Make a persuasion check. Uh, twelve. Twelve? Yep. All right. Uh, uh, friends, right? Friends. I'm just tying up your waist so you don't go away. Cause I love you so much, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Group. Group. Say. Stay with. Leader, not not going, not going. All right, you have a good night there, uh, Copper. Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. All right, so that's it. All right. 
so... I threw a little bacon at him. <laughs> you, you, uh, you have pocket bacon? Pocket have... bacon. <laughs> Always have pocket bacon when I'm in town. Of course. He, he takes it. Alright, so... Um, you guys are just going to bed or... Every everyone is in his room. Is anyone like trying to listen, or you're just having your rest, like keeping watch or anything like that, or we just go for the rest? I think we we can have the uh, rest. No, I'm uh, as soon as my head hit the pillow. Y you're gone. I'm gone. All right. Um, and I'm trying I'm to count. Uh, I'm gonna gold. make my prayers. I'm gonna make my prayers uh, a bit. Kind of have uh, some trouble going to sleep, but uh, eventually I fall down. Me too. Good. Um, do you guys want to continue, or you want to uh, stop here? I wouldn't mind stopping here. Yep, we can. Uh, we can call it. Mm, I just need to split the gold between all four of us. Yay! Yeah. We're sleeping. Yeah, but I did that uh, when I left the tail. I gave you all your gold. I just didn't count it yet because it's a freaking mess to count. And I think we never had the experience for that uh, place either. Yeah, we did. You needed to. He, he oh, sent we, a we message. Yeah. Oh. Send a message. Did we level up? No. No. <laughs> that wasn't enough for level up. Well, it would have been Where's... if we had the total amount each. But we split it four ways. So, so in total, you guys made, I think, 2,400 XP. So it's 600 each. Let me see. Okay. But yeah, we can say that you, uh, friend, like you, um, you're gonna wake up early, split the gold, and uh, give it to them in the morning or something like that. But yeah, if you want to do it, uh... Uh, did you talk to me? Nope. I was talking to Fern. I'm making. So I, I just found out I can, uh, I can do ceremonies. I you can, can. Uh, I can uh, um, have a wedding, funeral rites. <laughs> I can, uh, yeah, that, that I, I can bless young adults. Well, you already uh, did it without knowing that you could. <laughs> Yeah, but no, it has actually, like, this was more of a role play, but the spell ceremony, I can make a funeral rite that makes it so that for the next seven days, the target cannot become undead. It's a corpse, like, I do it on one corpse and... Uh... Nice. What what does, uh... Because that's the funeral, but what does... There's the wedding. Things... Wedding is uh, for the next seven days, each target gains plus two bonus to AC while... They are within 30 feet of each other. Well, that's not a it's wedding really that nice. lasts too long. It's not a wedding that lasts long. Seven days. Well, seven but days plus two AC, I mean. Yeah, no, it's good. So, Tamara, Fern? Nani? We're gonna, uh, if you if they, are widow, if they are widowed, they can have the spell again. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I can only do it for uh, people who want to get married. <laughs> oh, no. uh, if, they're, if they're widowed, what? If they're widowed, I can do it again on them. If they want to get married again. <laughs> so yeah. we can uh, marry Peter to someone, or the yeah. goblin. You can marry the goblin. I, so I can atone kill somebody. It. I can atone somebody. So you touch one willing creature whose alignment has changed, and you may. And you make a, a DC Wisdom check 
On a successful check, you restore the target to it, or its original alignment. So you can. So like make... a person who went evil, let's say. I can restore them to being you, good. You, you can make uh, people good. Yeah. Oh, that's With nice. Atonement. Can you make people evil? I guess. <laughs> It's original alignment. So, oh, okay. what's original means? I don't know. Uh, like a goblin. We, we, I think we, it's we... Uh, like neutral evil or something like that. We can transform uh, Yarno. I don't know. I can convert people to my god, and if I if if I do so. Um, for the next 24 hours, whenever the target makes a saving throw, it can roll a d4 and add the number to a number rolled to the save. <laughs> Interesting. That's all like. I can bless water to make it holy water. That's useful. But it's a spell and I have to prepare it though. So. Oh. Oh. But oh, the I other things are, are like abilities or. Threat, threats, threats. Is that how it's called? Or it's the just what? the other things that you were describing. Well, are, it's with uh, the spell ceremony. Oh. And I can cast it with those various uh, versions, okay. variants, wow. you know, if you want. That's cool. Uh, according to my calculations, we would have 159 gold pieces and five silver each. 100? Yep. Oh, wow. With everything. One, 100. How many? You, you, you said something after. 159 gold, five silver each. 159 gold. Good. What about the copper and electrum? Well, no. What I did is I took the electrum, I transferred it to silver, all the silver into gold, and I kept the copper for administration fee. And five oh, pieces of silver, <laughs> that's right? <laughs> yeah, because I didn't want to yeah, split I... the coppers, too. <laughs> it was too freaking boring. <laughs> I, I I haven't noted the the, the money. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all on Discord, it by the way. All the oh, loot nice. we had Thank basically the, tonight, it's all on Tavern Chat. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it's not split, right? The gold is not split. No, uh, that's you the loot did. we had. But split, it's 159 gold and 5 silver. If I, I, I made the right uh, conversions. Which I think I did. So we got the Electrum? Yeah, we had Electrum. Oh my god. Not Platinum. Electrum. Electrum is not so... Electrum is five, is five silver pieces. Silver. Five silver. Yeah. Half a gold piece. Um, who took the long sword? Who took the sword? Uh, I have it. Yeah. Okay. Because you can attune to it to learn its property during short rest or long rest. Yeah, but um, attune. My character says my character is uh, his. Origins in Arcana and Wisdom. Uh, I have too much wisdom to attune to any thing that I don't know what it is. Oh. He's, he's just more careful because he's, he has such a high wisdom. <laughs> what is attune? Sorry, I'm not familiar. What is attune? You're at well, you're attaching yourself to the item, basically. A magical item. You can be. You can use only three magical item at a time, and you need to attune to it to uh, use it. 
and uh, usually it all it it also serve as a, a identifier so if you attune to the item you learn its properties yeah but there, there might be some drawback i don't want to spoil anything i want to play it out in role play but yeah <laughs> it's not there's some drawbacks sometimes <laughs> i see i i don't even know about that okay. oh, no? no. But uh, from my understanding, it serves as an identified object. Like you spend a, a, sh a short rest uh, touching the item, and you attune to it, and you learn its properties. But it doesn't mean that you keep it. You just it's attuned to you. But you could say like it's it would be better on uh, Tamara or Cade and. Uh, yeah, I think. I don't know how you unattune an object. It's possible, but I don't know exactly the mechanics for that. Uh, it's not like, that simple, I think. Okay. I think you have to stop use it to use it, or uh, I, I don't remember. I think I'm gonna have to check that out for well. next time. Because there are yep. some effects that only applies when you're attuned to it. So attuning to something can trigger something else. So it can be a good or a bad thing, but the fact that is, it's an object that has unknown magical properties. When you attach to it, it activates the magical properties because you actually... The role-playing of attunement is basically that you experiment with that object and you get to know that object by using it. So it activates any arcane properties, any magical properties are activated by using it. And that's how you know what it does, right? So it's like, you, you know, because it happened thing and you want to know what it does. So you experiment with it and you activate it right away. And my character doesn't feel good about it because of the arcana origin. Like he, he has some experience in the past. We can role play it out. Yep. I'm gonna read. It was a good session. About it. Yeah. I had fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Kevin, you're getting good with the voices, by the way. I like it. I like the yes. interpretation of Cooper. <laughs> Yes. Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> Cooper or Cooper? Cooper. Copper. Yeah. I'll Cooper. probably I'll probably forget the voice uh, for the next session. But, <laughs> I know um... what it is. Uh, you just I don't think to... so because you, you, you have you have Raina uh, uh, the voice of a um, Zeldor. I mean it's uh, about uh, five sessions like you have the same accent with with Zeldor. Yeah, uh, yeah. Zeldor and Toblin. I think I got them right. Copper should be fine, but like uh, Peter and uh, the town master, and even Peter and Sildar have trouble. But yeah, it's not my it's not my party doing the voice, and uh, I know uh, Fafoon is a lot better at that kind of things. But <laughs> when, well, so my... you, what you can play with is the is the easy like thin is he fat. So that changes the depth of the voice. So is he talking more more high pitch, low pitch, the and then accent as well. So just the combination of accent and the high pitch, low pitch, you can make like a lot of voices with that. Ooh, and then yeah. you get into like clean voice, uh, just like, you know, just, hey, hey. you make two different voices. So, don't, yeah. don't forget to do your long rest. Uh... Yeah, did we have the long rest? Because I didn't click on it because you didn't say it, we had a long rest. Especially I have a goblin in my room. Well, yeah, I have, have a long have... rest I... then. <laughs> I... <laughs> Everyone else have one. We'll see for... Uh, for oh, seven. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And that is on next week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. All right, thanks everyone. Yeah, was yeah, fun. Have a good week. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you too. See you next week. Have fun. Thanks.
See ya. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye.